Hello, Harv here. You're watching Harv Video All This Stuff, the YouTube channel that hugs anyone who's into cameras and audio. But if you're not, well, you get one anyway. <laughs> I've been using Velocore lookup tables for quite a while now because I find that they really suit the sort of look that I like. They're fairly stylized, but they also don't ruin your skin tones. Now, Velocore have just released a second luck pack, which I've been waiting for for a little while. Now they're here, I thought you'd like to see what they can do. By the way, this is not a sponsored video in any way. I did get them for free, but I just liked the original look uh, from the original pack so much since I got them that I think I actually use them on every single project since. The new pack includes 12 unique lookup tables that were inspired by the creator, Ricardo Sousa's travels over the past year. So these LUTs weren't just cobbled together in a short space of time and given funky names. Ricardo visited lots of different locations, shot a ton of video, and then put the time in to craft these LUTs. So they're not churned out by a big company, they're boutique. The first thing I do when I get new lookup tables is to see how they respond to this main shot of me in my workspace. So let's turn my current grade off, which by the way was actually a LUT from the first Velicor pack and then let's cycle through the new LUTs. I always think that this shot is a really good test of a lookup table because I've got some warm looking lighting on my right and some cooler lighting behind me and on my left. Coupled with the fact that I've got higher color accuracy key and fill lights uh, in front of me to light my skin tones, it's a great test of how the LUT deals with all of these things. Incidentally, if you want to know more about this lighting setup I've got here, I did a video recently on that very subject, which I'll link below. Anyway, enough of this predictable, nicely lit shot. Let's go out into the world and see how the LUTs do when they have the elements to contend with. So here we go. This was shot in my hometown of Bristol, UK on a rare sunny day. And of course, I shot the video with my Sony a7S II in 4K mode, S-Log2, ISO 1600, which is the native minimum, and of course I overexposed slightly. This is another really good test for these LUTs because there are plenty of highlight areas and shadow areas, and all LUTs will deal with these in a slightly different way. And we do also have some nice colors here. We've got the green of the trees, the blue of the sky, and whilst these LUTs are, they're not gonna be for making them look really natural, they're more for the cinematic look, it is good to see how they deal with these colors. Next we have an icy woodland sort of scene which I, I shot on the same camera in the same mode, S-Log2. And this is a great shot because it shows you a, a ton of contrast, but also lots of texture. Now, having used these lookup tables for a few weeks now, I have to admit that whenever I shoot something that's more contrasty and moody looking with more shadow areas, that is where their strength lies. Bear in mind, these lookup tables will work well with Sony, Cine4 and S-Log, as well as other popular profiles from other manufacturers like Canon, Panasonic and Fuji. So there's plenty here to get your teeth into. My favorite LUTs so far are Bali, Loft and Red Rocks. So obviously the Velicor LUTs are linked below and I believe Ricardo has set up a deal when you buy both packs, so that's cool. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I've made a huge amount of videos like this, so I'll pop a couple of particularly good ones on this side. And if you fancy sticking around and you're not already subscribed, definitely do it. Uh, just hit the blob that I'll pop on this side here. And until next time, let's help each other out and shoot a better video. See you guys.